Hi everyone, it's Hong here, and in this video, I'll walk you through the process of accessing your report feedback in Turnitin. Before I move on, I apologize if the sound quality isn't great because this video was made on the spur of the moment without the tools that I usually use. So anyway, log on to Blackboard and navigate your way through to the page where you submitted your report. For human biology students, the easiest way to do this is to click on the submission also the report submission link on the left here, then click on final report submission and then go into your respective stream A or stream B folder. Then find the folder that you submitted your report to and if you're unsure or if you've forgotten you can check the details on the submission receipt that would have been sent to your email. Just a note that if you're a Stream A Tuesday PM 302 student, uh, the link to your folder is actually named Stream A Tuesday AM 302 and it sits under Stream A Tuesday PM 301. It's some bug in Turnitin or Blackboard, I'm not really sure, but it didn't allow us to fix the name, but your report is definitely within this folder. Once you've found your folder, and I'm just going to go back to find the one that's relevant to me, click on View Complete, and you should see something like this. If you don't, it means that your report is not in this folder and must be in another one. Then click on this View button, and another window will appear. Now, if you're accessing your report feedback for the first time, you would see something like this. So it's just your report, it's blank with no comments, and there's a whole lot of grey on the right-hand side. I guess the first thing you'll notice is the grade out of 100. I received 8 out of 100. How fantastic. But the markers didn't spend hours sifting through your reports just to give you a grade. They did leave comments and to access them, click on grade mark on the top left and you'll see general comments on this side if the marker had left you any. Specific feedback um, can be found on the report itself and they appear in several different formats depending on what the marker preferred. So your marker may have typed comments directly on the report like here and the text would be in blue or they may have highlighted sections of your report and left a comment in the bubble and if you hover your cursor over it um, the details of those comments um, can be read so for example in my my report the marker left a comment saying it seems that you know your fruits and vegetables but this is completely irrelevant to the assessment task okay. there are also bubble comments um, that are not necessarily linked to a certain section or text in your report. So in this one, it just says I'm missing a title. And other bubble comments will have a title on them, which gives you an indication of what that comment is about. And so these types of comments generally have a lot of feedback um, in here and any additional comments left by the marker. Now all the comments left by the marker through the entire report can be seen if you click on the middle icon on the bottom right hand corner of the browser. And they'll be ordered by the page they were left on. So in my case, this number four indicates that there were four comments left on page one. And if you click on the icon next to the page number, you can expand um, the list and you'll see all the comments that were left there. If you hover your cursor over any of these and click on show on paper, you can see where um, these comments were left on the report. For comments that are cut off like this one, you can expand to read the entire feedback. Now in terms of how you went in each section of the report, you can access the rubric if you click on the rightmost bottom icon and you'll see just a quick overview of the rubric. He's showing what particular section 
um, what particular section it was, what it was weighted. So in this case, the title was weighted 2% and the mark that you received out of 100 for that section. Okay, so for my title, I didn't have one, so I got a zero. And if you scroll to the bottom, there's this link here where you can view the entire rubric. Okay, so just expand this and you'll see what merit grade you received for each section. Okay, so here the marker was a little bit generous and gave me marks for formatting, a bit on sentence structure and English um, and cohesion. So the final piece of information I'm going to give you is how to download your marked report. And to do this, you click on the print icon on the bottom left hand corner of your browser and click on that and select download PDF for current view for printing. Give it a few seconds to make the conversion. And then you can save the file for future reference.